All right, so I'm gonna show you how to use SenseShare for Facebook and Facebook events. It's really awesome. It's like 10 bucks a month, so if you decide you don't wanna use it, you don't do it, but they do give you your first 30 days for free, so if you can see if it really would be beneficial, and of course it's a write-off. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so where did I go here? All right, so I go to sensshare.com and I log in. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so I already have all these posts from past parties that I've done. They're just all in here. And so, it's, so what I normally do is I just go to the last one. And so first you have to go to this thing. It collects everything from your Facebook and I have to refresh it, which I've already done, but I'll do it again. So it refreshes just anything new. So like I created those two new events in Facebook. I had to do that first. I created those events. Now I refresh. Since Share finds it, I'm going to click on my name. I'm going to go all the way down to events. So it says events here. And then see how these hearts are um, darker? These are the two events that I just scheduled for this week. So if there's our Wednesday and our Tuesday and Wednesday. So I hearted them. So I'm going to unheart them. So I'm going to heart them. So these are the two events that I've chosen. Then I'm gonna to go to history here. So since share is amazing, it's changed my life. And here's the thing, re reason I love it so much. When you guys um, are in the party on Tuesday and Wednesday, I can't always be there because of Bible study on Tuesday and church on Wednesday. I do get back um, eventually and I can like, get in there, but I'm putting my kids to bed first. And so I can usually get my kids in bed and then it's like nine o'clock, but the party started at 8.30. So even if I'm having a later night, I can still get my kids in bed. The party's still going, and all these posts are posting like I'm posting, but I'm not. <laughs> so, um, and then I can go back in later and, you know, comment on stuff and answer questions. So, um, all right. Hey, Cindy. Okay, so here is my history. All I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, and first I'm going to find the party. Um, what was it? It's the... VIP invite only online party. I'm going to do that one first. So I'm going to scroll down to get the party party, not the opportunity party. And I always start with the, with the product, um, like spotlights. So I just click on that post. It already has the time that I want it to post, which is 9 AM. I got to set the date, which is the 26th. And then I've got to choose the party. So basically, you know, I choose VIP invite. Oh, yep. Invite only for 26. And then I'm going to click schedule post. This post is already made. If I want to change it, I can edit it right there. But usually it's good. I do have to edit some stuff from month to month as things change. You know, like the bonuses will go away next month. We'll have to change that. You know, right now everything should be the same. Um, all right, in the next post, I'm going to go here, 26. It's already set at 4 p.m. If I want to change that, I can. But I have these go throughout the day before the party starts. Click on the party or 26, schedule post. Um, yep. So that's all I do. And I just keep doing that until all of them are scheduled. And it is a little bit time consuming, but it's so much better to just get this done some night whenever, oops, whenever my kids are in bed and, um, I don't even have to worry about it again because it runs. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, when these parties are going on, I'm not even thinking about the parties. Um, sometimes, I've, especially if I'm busy or whatever, um, these are still, these are still going on and, um, People are going to them, but I'm just not always there. <laughs> and so that's what's so great about it is I literally can schedule every single post. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you use SendShare for business. And here's the other cool thing I didn't show you. I'm going to do this. I'll finish up this in a minute. So I, we went here earlier so you could see all the things on Facebook. So see, I've got groups in here too. So like, like there's Bling Team, for example, right? So I could go to Bling Team and I could, put, I could click on Bling Team and I could schedule posts for Bling Team. I've never done any of this, but I could. Um, or you can even do like my actual, like any of your pages. So like if you have like Wrap It Up With Allison, it's my fan page. I can schedule posts on there too throughout the week. Um, I can schedule posts for my timeline. Ooh. It's chosen. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, am I posting stuff on there? Anyway, um, so you can schedule things for anything on Facebook, anything having to do with Facebook. So it's really cool and it's totally worth the $10 a month in my opinion, but you do get your first month free. So if you want to try it out for a month and see if you think it'd be beneficial for you, 
do it. Um, and then you don't have to be locked into it if you don't like it. Um, but again, it's a tax deduction. So it might be something just, you know, good to at least try out for 30 days for free. So anyway, that is it. Do you guys have any questions about, about this? Nope. Okay. Well, that's it. That's short and sweet. And I did, um, I did tape it. I did record this. So people who want to watch it later can watch this later too. All right. Y'all have a good night.